Hello and welcome to chapter 13 of How to Read and Study the Bible using the Olive Tree Bible app. Today we're going to take an exciting look at how to use notes for a specific application of creating a category of links in your Bible app called the Romans Road. The Romans Road is a time-tested and true system of leading someone to Christ or sharing the gospel with someone using uh, a selected set of predefined uh, scripture verses that are all strictly from the book of Romans. So you can have this category pre-built in your Bible app and you can practice it and become familiar with it, how you would present it to someone. And then when the time comes for you for someone that you're witnessing to, to share the gospel with someone and, ex and walk through the steps, um, you can use this category listing for the Romans Road to have the, uh, your links already all set up and ready to go. So it's a great tool. So let's get started, by, um, and I'll show you how to build this category. Okay, let's go up to the upper left-hand side in the hamburger menu icon, click on that, Go down to our notes section and click on that. And now we have our notes section open. And the top section here is where our categories is, uh, categories are. And the bottom section is where all of our notes are. We're going to go down to the very bottom and we're going to add a new category. And we're going to call it Romans Road. Okay. And then we're going to go up and hit Create. So now we've created a new category called Romans Road. And in this new category, you'll notice that there's zero notes. So we're not going to create the rest of the notes that make up this chain of scriptures from in here. We're going to actually go into our Bible and do it. So it's a little different than the last lesson where the prayer journal was created strictly within that section. So let's go to the first verse in, this, in the Romans Road, and that would be Romans 3.10. So click on here and go to uh, navigate to Romans chapter 3 and verse 10. So now we're at verse 10 and we're going to click on verse 10. If we want to have the Romans wrote available in all of our Bible study and in, in all of our translations, I mean, in Olive Tree, or we can just highlight the verse and this um, note will be available only in this in this particular translation that we're in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm in the NIV 1984 right now, and that's the one I would use. So I'm going to I'm going to highlight that verse. I'm going to click on note, and now the the notes will be created in the NIV 1984. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the top here, and I'm going to click on this title, and I am going to delete all this. And I'm going to call this Romans Road 3.10. Okay, so in this verse, Romans 3.10, what we want to do is click in the content, content area here, and we want to create a link to the next verse in our chain, which is Romans 3.23. So this has to be typed out exactly. So I'll just type in R-O-M space 3 colon 23. Okay. And if we click off on white space here, it'll be done. So now there's a note created up here. We can see there's a note up here created. And if I click on that note and open it up, we have our Romans Road 310. Or you can give it any title that you like, whatever suits you. The reference is Romans 3.10. And Olive Tree created the text that we put in here into a link. So if we click on that text, that'll take us to our next, um, our next verse in the chain. Let me just click on that again. So if I click on Romans 3.23... That'll take us right to the verse. And from here, we can open up this in the full screen if we want. Open up in main menu. And now we're at Romans 3.23. And we have it opened up full screen. And here's verse 3.23. 
So well, what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight this verse. Click on Notes. And we're going to create a title. Romans, oops, let me get rid of all the rest of this. Romans Road 3, 23. So what we want to do here now is, is um, type in here the next verse in the chain. And the next verse in the chain is Romans 5, 8. So R-O-M space 5 colon 8. And what we're going to do here that we didn't do in the first one, and I was going to go back and show you, but we'll just do it here now, is we're going to add a tag. And we're going to see if Romans Road is in our tags list, and it is. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to add a tag called Romans Road. And we're also going to go up here to the three menu, the three dot icon, and we're going to change the category because we did not include this in our Romans Road category. So we're going to click on that. And now this verse is in our Romans Road category. So we'll go back and do the first one later. I'll show you how to do that from in the main menu. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the next verse, which is Romans 5.8. So I'm just going to click on that verse. It opens up in 5.8. And I am going to click this icon in the upper right-hand corner right here. And I'm going to open up Romans 5.8 in the main menu again. And now we're, we're at Romans 5.8. And I am going to highlight that verse. Click on Notes. Go up here and change my title. Romans Road five, eight. So now we're going to go and put the next verse in our chain, which is Romans 623, R-O-M space 623. And we're going to add the Romans Road tag on here. There it is right there. And then we're also going to go up here to the three dot, I, three dot menu and change category to Romans Road. And we're done. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the, to Romans 6.23. And since we have a link right here in our note, I'm going to tap on that with my finger because I'm on an iPad. And it goes to Romans 6.23. And I'm going to click on this icon up here, open in main, main window. And now we're at Romans 6.23 in our main window. And I'm going to highlight this verse. Oh, let me grab the whole thing. And I'm going to create a note. And I'm going to go up here and, and delete the existing pre-made title and call this Romans Road 623. And I'm going to go down here, and we're going to click in the next verse in our Romans Road chain, which is Romans 10. 9 and 10. So again, we'll write R-O-M space 10 colon 9 and 10. Or we can just go to 9. because Well, let's put 9 and 10. Okay. So now we have, and we'll add a tag to it. Romans Road tag. We'll go back to it, and we'll click on the three-dot icon, change the category again to Romans Road, and go back to it. And now we're almost done. We have one more to go, and that is Romans 10.13. So let's click on our Romans 10, 9 to 10 link, and that will take us in our pop-up menu to Romans 10, 9, and 10. And we'll click on this icon in the upper right-hand corner of the pop-up menu. Click on Open in Main Menu. And now we should be at Romans 10. Oop, it was down here. Romans 10, 9, and 10. 
So here we are. If you declare with your mouth, and I'm going to get the whole thing again. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And I'm going to click on note. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to change this to Romans Road 10 colon 9 dash 10. And we're going to add the last one, which is Romans 10 13. So Rome, R O M space 10 colon 13. Go down and add a tag to the Romans Road. Hit the back arrow button. Go back to our note. Hit the three dot icon. Hit the three dot menu icon and change the category to Roman Road. And we are done. So now we have created a category called the Romans Road with all of our links in it. You can actually create any more links that you want. Uh, there's a whole bunch of links. In fact, you don't, need, you don't even have to call it the Romans Road. You can make up your own set of links that you would like to walk through people, especially if you have more than five or 10 or 15. You may not remember the order of them all. Uh, this is a great way to have it all pre-done so you don't have to worry about missing one of them or forgetting one of them. You can just walk through them all, and they're all right there. You can focus on, on praying in the Holy Spirit to um, open up uh, and plant a an effectual seed in the heart of whoever you're speaking to. So let's go back um, to our category. Oop. There we go. Click on the main on the hamburger menu icon and notes. And let's go back to that the Romans Road category and go back to that first one. Romans 10, where did the first one go? Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to put it in. This is what happened to the first one. I forgot to put it in the category. So Romans 10, um, Romans 3.10 is down here in just in, the, in all the notes where there's no category attached to them. So let's click on it down here and click on this three-dot icon menu up here and click Change Category, and add it to our Romans Road. And we can also add a tag to it. And now we have it in a category, and we have it tagged. So now we have our Romans Road is complete. I think we have all of them here. 310. 323, 58, 623, 9 and 10. Uh, what happened to Romans? Oh, okay, so that's 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 all of them because the last one links to um, Romans um, 10, 13. So let's click on this one and see if it works. So we clicked on the first one, which is Romans 310, and we click on this. I'm just going to use my finger to click on that. And that takes us to the next one. And we can open up that in a main menu. And now it took us to Romans 3.23, and we can see our note up here. If we look up here, and right in front of the verse 23, we can click on that, and the yellow cursor doesn't do good on opening notes, so I'm just gonna use my finger, and opens up that. And so after you've read the verse to, to the person, ask them if they have any questions or explain it to them a little bit, then you can go to the next one in your chain, Romans 5.8. Click on that, and it takes you to Romans 5.8. And now you can see the note icon is there. If you want to be able to read it better, you can open it up in, a full, in, in this uh, main menu if you want. But you don't have to. You can click on it right here, the note right there. Um, I'm just going to open up in the main menu because I think it's bigger and easier to read. And then now we're in the next link of our chain, which is Romans 5.8. I click on that. It takes me to the next link in the chain, which is Romans uh, 6.23. Click on that. Open the main menu. And now I have a note here for that one. So I click on that one. Oops. 
And it takes me to Romans, the next link in the chain, which is Romans 10, 9, and 10. Click on that. Open up that in a main menu. In a main window, I'm sorry. And now we're at um, Romans 10, 9, and 10. And if I click on this one, it takes us to our last verse in the chain, Romans 10, 13. And you can stop along the way and spend as much time along the way on each verse, explaining them to them. Ask the person to read it to you. That's a good method. Ask them to read it for you. Ask them if you have any questions. At the end of it, ask them if there's any reason why they would not um, repent of their sins. Acknowledge their sins, repent of their sins, and ask the Lord Jesus to uh, become Lord and Savior of their life. And so that's the Romans Road. And I pray that you will use it or use something similar to it or come up with your own category with your own links that work for you. And I pray, Lord, that the Lord uses you mightily in leading people to Christ because that's what we're called to do. Thanks for listening. God bless, and we'll see you next time.